everyone I'm here with another video and you guys I love jewelry I have loved jewelry for as long as I can remember as far back as I can remember I think my age might have been in single digits and I have collected a lot of jewelry over the years and I now have like an entire dresser dedicated to just jewelry I have three storage boxes on that dresser with jewelry in it I have another storage box in another dresser where I keep my clothes with a lot of jewelry and then also I have a stand on top of my dresser with jewelry and I don't discriminate I will wear any kind of jewelry expensive jewelry cheap jewelry that I found like from the dollar store and I will wear like very simple very elegant jewelry or even like very bold colorful jewelry kind of like sort of like this uh, necklace that I am wearing here one thing I find with myself is that I will go through periods where I'm wearing the same pieces of jewelry over and over over again and I will go kind of like through some of my jewelry and pull out older pieces or things I haven't worn in a while but it's very easy for me to forget what I have case in point uh, not too long ago I went into New York and company to pick up a shirt and while I was online I picked up a set of bracelets and then when I got to the cashier I told her to leave it off I don't know why I just decided not to get them and I was glad that I didn't because when I came home and I started looking around I had almost the exact same bracelet from New York and company that I had purchased uh, some time before and that's when I decided it was time to overhaul my jewelry so in this video I'm going to show you guys how I declutter organize and also display my jewelry using items that I found from the dollar store I thought it'd be really cool for me to look through my jewelry get rid of anything that I haven't worn in a while that I won't be wearing anytime soon or jewelry that I just don't want pieces that have been broken because oftentimes um, with not taking very good care of jewelry you can break jewelry and I'm ashamed to say that that's happened to me more than once I also thought that it might give you guys ideas about how to organize your jewelry as well so if you're interested keep watching this is my jewelry box that I'm working with today and as you guys can see I have just all kinds of things thrown in here uh, those pouches are from my Honora pearls and basically I just take off my jewelry throw it in this box until I'm ready to rifle through all of it again so I'm going to go through all of it take it all out of the box one by one and separate them into piles into separate categories And once I'm done, this is what it looks like. I have a different pile for my earrings, bracelets, necklaces, pearls. I even have a pile up in the top left corner of all the jewelry I'm going to get rid of. So now it's time to organize. So for my bracelets and bangles, I'm going to use these mega carabiners that I found in the automotive aisle at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use them to keep all of my bracelets together. Oftentimes what happens is I will kind of like lose one or two so I'm wearing an incomplete set. And then sometime later I'll find them and then I can't find the rest of the bracelets. So I thought it'd be a good way to keep them all together and in one place. I'm also going to try and color code it so as you guys can see most of the bracelets on this carabiner are like silver in tone and on the other carabiner I'm going to put the rest of my bracelets. And on this carabiner, as you guys can see, all of these bracelets kind of have a gold tone to it. Also, they're more colorful and more decorative than the other bracelets were. And I just feel like it makes it so much easier for everything to have its own place. A uh, note of advice to everyone, if you're going to use this technique, what I would suggest is that you stop every couple of bracelets and make sure that you have enough room for it because you can end up damaging like one of the beads or something on your bracelets if you just pile them all on there. And this is what it looks like when they're done. So for my hanging earrings, I'm going to be using these display easels. I picked these up at Dollar Tree near the picture frames. Most of the time people use these to display artwork or even books. 
So what you want to do is flip one on its side and you'll understand why later. And on the other one, you just want to flip it over to um, upside down basically. And that will actually give you some height to hang some of your bigger earrings like these two pairs that I have here. These are actually coconut shells that I picked up in the Bahamas a few years ago. And having that height is just a great way to have your earrings hang and display and make it look really good without it actually having to lay on the dresser itself. Now on the other easel, as you guys could see, some of the earrings are actually not as long or require as much height as the first two pairs of earrings that I showed you guys. But um, I think having it lay out this way is a great way for you to have like extra like area for you to hang your earrings and it also even looks cooler I mean to have like that zigzag design on your dresser it just looks really cool and I love the way it displays the earrings I have like I don't know how many rings but I always lose them because they fall to the bottom of my jewelry box and I never have the energy to go searching for them so I thought that I would use these metal shower curtain hooks to organize them similar to what I did with my bracelets and the carabiners so basically I'm going to use a different hook to organize my rings according to likeness so on this first one I'm going to put my silver rings and these are rings that I would wear just about every day these are basic uh, rings just everyday wear. On this next one, I put my gold tone ring. On this hook here, I put two of my sparkly rings these are kind of like special occasion and if you guys are wondering that is a puffer fish and yes it has crystals on it i know it looks weird but it's so cool i get lots of compliments on it this is what all of the shower curtain hooks look like when they're done For my bracelets that have a clasp closure and also some necklaces and my pearl jewelry, I'm going to be using these three long containers. In the first box, I'm going to put all of the gold jewelry in. In the middle box, I'm going to put all of the silver jewelry in. And in the last box, I'm going to put all of my pearl necklaces and bracelets. I have a lot of pearl jewelry. If you guys are interested in seeing a bit more about that, leave a comment down below and I will do that in another video. One thing that I've noticed about uh, pearl and beaded necklaces, it really helps to spread out the colors in a box because it makes it easily identifiable. Also, if you have a necklace or bracelet similar to this one with a pendant, you want to kind of leave that towards the top so that it's very easy to locate. And this is what it looks like when they're all done. For my watches and my jewelry sets, so earrings that have like a matching pendant, I'm going to use these two shorter containers. And I thought it was a great idea to put the jewelry sets uh, together in one box just because I always lose like one piece. I'll have the earrings and I won't have the necklace or I'll have the necklace and I won't have the matching earrings. I just thought it would be so much better to have it all in one place.
I'm sure you guys recognize these. These are good old fashioned ice cube trays and I'm going to use them to organize my smaller earrings. So pearl earrings, button earrings, stud earrings, earring backs because I have like a lot of them everywhere all the time. I find them in the oddest of places. I'm also going to use it for my brooches. And did I say rings? Yeah, my rings as well. I love the way that this came out because it has made it so much easier for me to find my smaller earrings. So for my statement necklaces, I'm going to use this cooling rack, but it's very important that it has something to lean against. So I'm leaning it against the back of the dresser against the wall. If you have a freestanding dresser, you might want to use an easel similar to the easels that I showed earlier, just so that it has something to lean against. Basically, this is a great way to display statement necklaces, necklaces that have uh, several pendants or a large pendant or even like bib necklaces. I find that it just makes it look really pretty. It makes it look enticing. It makes me want to wear my necklaces. And obviously it just has it like out there so that you know exactly where to go find it and you don't have to rifle through your jewelry box. Also, you can use the free spaces to display any hanging earrings that you have left or even matching earrings to those necklaces. When you go to place the necklace on the cooling rack, what you want to do is make sure that you have even weight behind it and also on the front because if it's too heavy on one side or the other, the necklace will fall. I like that I end up using all kinds of colors and different kinds of style of necklaces on this just because it made it all visually appealing to me. And this is the final product. For everything else, I'm going to use this stand that I made. I purchased the two serving trays at Dollar Tree along with the high stem glass and I glued it all together to make the stand. I tried to film myself making it and I totally botched it, but I'll do that in a later video. And this is going to be for me to just put everything else I didn't have a place for um, earlier in the video. With beaded necklaces, it looks really cool to just kind of ball it up and display it like this. I don't know why, but it has like this effortless look to it. And then also for any other like pendants or statement jewelry, any statement necklaces that you have similar to these, it helps to just kind of ball up the actual like necklace part and leave the pendant out so that it makes it very obvious like where the necklace is on the tray. And on the top, I'm going to use that to display uh, some of the items that I might use more likely every day and then also uh, for smaller things like uh, smaller earrings as well. Another tip is not to crowd it too much. You actually, if you put too much jewelry on it, will make it look really like messy and we don't want messy anymore. And this is what the final product looks like. 
so there you guys have it um, this whole process was kind of therapeutic and really helpful because organizing it uh, has made it rather easy for me to identify um, where the things are when I'm looking for something to accessorize my work clothes in particular because I don't have too much time in the morning so I hope this video was helpful to you guys if you guys would like more videos like this on my channel please uh, mention that below if you have any comments or questions please also list that below if you have already don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and until next time take care you guys bye